My name is Madeline Habib. I'm from Tasmania, Australia, and I'm the captain of Amal Hope, one of the boats as part of the Peace Flotilla, the Freedom Flotilla, the women's boat to Gaza. And um, I understand you have an experience as a captain in different boats, especially for Physicians for Human Rights, if you could say something about that. I've been um, working on a variety of vessels throughout my career and yes, I do have a strong commitment to human rights and I have tried to devote my professional life to trying to improve the quality of life of other people and also working for the environment. And what did you do on your last vessel before you joined the flotilla? Uh, the last ship that I worked on was with Doctors Without Borders um, and I was engaged in the rescue missions in the Mediterranean, rescuing migrants off the coast of Libya and delivering them safely and with dignity to Europe. And um, now you're going to Gaza. What, what do you think about the situation in Gaza? And why are you joining the flotilla? Um, I joined the flotilla because I believe that the voice of the people of Gaza needs to be heard. What's happening in Gaza is is a violation of human rights. It's strangling a nation, it's strangling a people, and it's inhumane and it's an insidious kind of warfare. This kind of warfare doesn't always make the headlines and it's really important that we keep the Palestinian story in focus and that we keep people's attention on this issue. I know there are many problems in the Middle East and it is a troubled area, but that doesn't mean that anybody's suffering is less worthy of attention than somebody else's. What is your message to Israeli women? To Israeli women? Yeah. I have a, a strong sisterhood in Israel, which I'm very proud of. I'd like to say Bokr Tov to my friends in Israel. And thank you for all of the support that you have given me and given to other women who are part of this flotilla. I know there are many women in Israel who do support our mission, and I say thank you to you. And I just, not just to Israeli women, but to all Israeli people, I just, ask you to look into your hearts and open your hearts and to offer everybody the respect and the dignity that you like to be offered yourself. Yesterday an arms deal was closed between Israel and the United States for another 10 years of arms being sold to Israel at very favorable conditions, in fact more like a donation. What do you think will be the impact of that deal? I can't imagine that any arms deal has a positive impact on the state of the world. What would be a positive impact would be if we agreed not to have arms. So to hear that an arms deal has been made, of course, fills me with sadness, strengthens my resolve that the people's voice needs to be heard, and it's, it makes me very sad to hear about this arms deal. Thank you very much.